All right, so in my last video, you saw me repair the heating element in a Samsung dryer. Now I'm gonna do the same thing, but in this video, we have a different type of Samsung dryer. So if you have a Samsung dryer or any other brand of dryer that looks like this, the procedure is pretty much exactly the same. So this dryer was given to me for free. Um, I'm told it doesn't heat, but other than that, it works perfect. So 99% of the time when a dryer stops heating, it ends up being the heating element, although not always. But I got my heating element here. I'm betting on that's what's uh, wrong with it. So I'm going to show you the procedure for changing the heating element in this dryer. Again, it's the same procedure in pretty much any dryer that looks like this. Um, it's a very easy repair to do. Uh, you really don't need a lot of tools, basically just a Phillips screwdriver. So I'm going to use a drill here. So we're going to start at the back of the dryer. There's two screws. We're going to take those screws out. You got those screws out. The top slide back just like that. All right, so now we need to take this face off face will just kind of have to wiggle loose but it'll pop off just like that and then we'll disconnect that wire there all right now that we got our face disconnected we're gonna work on removing this and this we're gonna start by taking these screws out here this one this one this one this one and these ones here. Once we got our four screws off here, we're going to take these two screws off here. And then there's little clips. And all you got to do is push down on them. And the whole face will pop off. We'll disconnect this wire. And then we'll just lift up. Okay, so now that we got that off, we have to take this off and we have to take this off. Alright, now that we have that off, we have to remove this and we have to remove that. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws. Right, and I took my four screws out for here. So we just lift up on this. And then we disconnect that wire. Okay, so now we have to get our drum out. And once we get our drum out, there's our heating element. Make sure you remember which way it goes in because it might not go in the same way you took it out. So once we got our drum out, here's our heating element and we got six wires attached to it. So we have to disconnect these wires, but it's really important that you color coordinate these. So you can take some tape and just mark them off so you know which wire goes to where. I'm just going to take a picture. Alright, to remove the heating element, it's really easy. It's just one screw right here. Okay, 
okay and then we slide it out like that so the time when your dryer stops heating it ends up being the heating element in there but we'll open it up to make sure if it's not the heating element we can probably narrow it down to the thermal break or the thermal fuse but it's pretty rare that these actually go so to check out the heating element we're going to open this unit up So I got this open and basically to remove these tabs here to get the, you want to get this to slide out you just have to bend that little wire straight okay so there's our heating element and we're gonna inspect it now to see if it's broken yep sure enough right there it's broken, so you really got to move your fingers around it to find the break because it's hard to see. Um, now we can go on to change this out for our new heating element. Now, if you inspected your heating element and you found it wasn't broken, you're going to want to go on Amazon and get the kit with the heating element and the thermal break and the thermal fuse. Replace all of that and it should fix your problem. Is your dryer not heating? Okay, now we'll screw this all back together. So what we're gonna do now that we got our new heating album installed is we're gonna just put this all back together, screw it all back together and install it the same way we took it out. If you have any questions, uh, post below, I'll respond, I'll get back to you. Like and subscribe, it really helps me out. Again, if you have any questions at all, just post below, I'll get back to you right away.